professional record. 26 victories, including 14 knockouts. Sosa! 19 victories, including 12 by knockout, with only one defeat. Viloria! Talking, good luck to both of you. And Edgar Sosa comes in here with the hope. Back to back, a loss and a draw. One, but what happened after that fight is Ada, and uh, you know, that was what he may likely be the boxer in this fight. We'll try and keep Brian Valoria at one. So uh, if it gets confusing, we'll keep. Uh, we'll go. Brian Valoria doesn't look like he really worked out for the corner of Manny Pacquiao a little bit later on this evening. And I believe that they overtrained their fighters, and there's no need to be. Edgar Sosa, whose mission is to. To be coming out here to the United States for the very first time and fight some. Uh, he's not jab a little bit. Yeah. Okay, be careful with your hands. A WBO champion uh, who. Um Psychologically, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Edgar Sosa trying to counterpunch a little more effectively with the right hand, and he's got a good right hand for Halfway through round number two, Sosa lands a left hook. He's had a bet to stand in there and trade punches. That's a good point. I think that good, good right hand. Good right hand by Brian Valoria, and that is what Edgar Sosa, the 27 gaining here in round number two. A little better for Edgar. So you're ready for him, right? Your flyweight matchup for the light flyweight. Punches, aggressive, trying to hurt the other guy. He took some solid shots, though, Edgar Sosa. But well, you know, he's tasted some of Valoria. He didn't seem to be awed by this at all. Well, things turned around for Nate Valoria. Feel those shots. This is shaping up as a bear. And told his trainer, uh, Miguel Gonzalez. And, uh, and and since that fight, he's been done very well here in round number three. And seems really out that. Good work right to the body right there, Brian. Something that he needs to start doing. Brian Valoria break, trying break. to. So round three passes into the night. A little bit. Let's take a look at some of the work by Sosa here. You see the left hook misses and then the right hand over the top. Of him. He's going to have to start pressing you a little bit and get, engaging you because yeah. he's losing every round. Very good job in the third. In any case, we head into the fourth round. The schedule 1,000 got to the second round before he lost to the ultimate gold medal. Discourage the fighter right. or, or get him fired up that they're going to make mistakes winning all the rounds. Not the last one, no. I don't think. And, I, and one thing that I... Round number four, and uh, this round's been very... I'm trying to, I'm trying to see you know, if uh, Andrew Sosa has a... And for a fighter that we have never we haven't seen out here, he's actually a B because he actually simps one of his opponents. He's doing something that he's gotten into a habit of doing, and you one that maybe might even up this fight depending on how you look recently. And uh, he's okay. It's uh, painful. I think their man is making him a comeback in this fight, and we kind of agree that the last couple of movement during the course of these last couple of rounds. Right there. Even throw all those punches, but make sure that you block them at least. Back in those exchanges, he takes Valoria a little bit out of his right. did affect him. In fact, I think he did it on how a fighter goes in. I agree with you, you know, but you know, a fighter, a fighter or anybody else. Sure, I mean, you know as well. You joined us for this great pay-per-view event, and so far it's off. You know, right there when Brian Valoria leans and shuts it because he got stunned. Right now he's against those ropes getting nailed. And Neighbor says, I just got caught with another one going in. Gloria, but then later in the round, Sosa does a lot of damage. You see, keeping those fast, fast punches going. Put a little right on there. So we head into round number six, and what's turning into a very intriguing. Nino couldn't get it back, but has a chance to fight here now. When Nino, Nino has a whether it's a white Vaseline, but he came out looking like a which part. There haven't been too many clinches and too much action. Good, good, good exchange. I by mean, he cannot lose this fight. Little of weapons here. And they're both taking some good shots. The thing about Valoria, though, is that he does kind of diminish. Uh, he's actually landing some pretty good, good jazz. But you know something that, because if you know, if you twist your glove all the way around, the punch is not going to go through. Round six, and you see a good right hand there by Sosa. But you know what? I thought Valoria. We have lots of good action. Julio Cesar Chavez. Uh, he has used that punch pretty effectively. It's Good combos, but then Valoria just glanced at my very unofficial scorecard. And I've got Valoria ahead by two. So with Sosa, I'm sure. <laughs> Box numbers for the most part, Sosa has been a little more active. And you know, and there are times where, you know, a fighter is going to throw punches. The defense that Valoria has, what you got to do is hasn't. Sosa moving around this ring. Good left. Or left other point. Big crowd gathering here. 
expected. Sosa came back effectively right before the bell. To me, put some pressure on him. He's feeling the pressure. So Wally pointed out a lot of ebb and flow in this, and so. Um, Make it kind of hard to to mark. Him. It's a gift. Round number eight uh, of the scheduled 12 rounder, and in this you're working the bottom end and the top. Which but that uppercut that by Sosa may have hurt Gloria. Yeah, he felt. And now both men wary. Good, good jab by himself back into good competitive matches where he... Valoria is short, but we expected him to fight. Yeah. Yes. He's a world-class fighter. Fascinating round. How did you score it? How will the judges score it? All right, to look back at round eight. You see Valoria on the attack, but watch the... Now, remember, if you're going to put your head down in the middle off the body shot, you have a combination. It's probably not easy to see. It's the voice of just a very close fight, and... The important thing... Had eight rounds, so that means, you know, we're talking about a one point. After he threw that lift to the body, he would come back up to... His. Both men throwing wicked left hooks. To well, Laurie has actually done his Sosa. Mr. Gennaro, uh, are you surprised by Sosa showing you to become a champion again? Valoria. Two punches from Sosa to no response from Valoria at all. Besides a smile. Sosa has to be careful. You know, seven eight to, to two. Eight to one. Okay. Joe Goosen thought that Sosa won in this fight. <laughs> well, we, had, we had and in these championships rounds in the last fight against Nino. Eight to one or seven to two <laughs> said, yeah, it's interesting. That's the red in the rhythm. I think they under You know, but something about you know you being a world champion right? out or is something else going on here? Is there great combinations by Sosa and Valoria against the ropes? Want it more right now. Well, he's put himself on the map with this fight. He with a good right hand that right on the tip of that bone that swagged it up. Why is Valoria doing that? He might have to save it for the next round. Pull some air in. Have some water. Take some water. Here. Ten, and it was a big one for Edgar Sosa. And you see right there, Brian Valoria. The scoring is, there's no question Edgar Sosa's picked up a head of steam in the last couple. I think he's actually gotten the better of the ball. Well, he might have been shook a little bit, but... Honestly, I'll tell you something else. You know, the first Valoria Nino fight, left, a low blow to the ball. Right? Left hook that went low. Benji Estevez will go. Sosa probably didn't want to be at the beginning of this fight, but now feels emboldened. Puncher, later on, give him some time, and then you feel that your buddy is able to. Did not hurt Sosa, but now he's getting those right hands in. We're in round, take round, but Sosa getting some good work done early. Big right up. Look, Deep breath. Listen to me. Look, Brian. Faces of these two fighters has been a real. Joe Goosen contradicts himself sometimes, and I think right now he's 29 to two or 10 to two. I think he told us his real scorecard. I'm Brian Valoria. Something that shouldn't be called by punches. Is the jab of Sosa pushing Valoria back against the cards? It will be very interesting to see how in fact is Edgar Sosa the 27. He's making Brian Valoria suffer the consequences of. I wanted to become a champion. Nino in the first fight. To think this fight could have been stopped at a certain point if he got hit with one more big punch. There is Brian Valoria. Maybe his career hanging in the back. Ultimately ended up with a much wider margin, landing at about 114, 114, a draw. Edgar Sosa. The show as well as he did, and uh, you know I said that I thought the 12th 